Jim Venice, and I'm with the real deal, Chris Cormier, Big Chris. How you doing? We're man? right in the middle of a grueling workout with your with your yeah, boys and stuff. That's the boys. They're they're suffering. Yeah. So listen, I want to get you on camera because um, many people know I, I went back to the stage last weekend. I actually wanted to do this interview before the stage, before the contest, but we didn't get a chance, which is even better because now <laughs> I get to tell you how it went. Yeah, that's awesome. And and uh, you know, Jay helped me with my diet and, and all that stuff. But I felt as I was getting in better shape, I, I felt really uncomfortable with my presentation and everything. So of course, you know, having you at my disposal, I, I mustered the courage to actually come to you and, and ask you if you could help me out. And I'm so glad I did because for the first time in ever, I felt so you know comfortable on stage and, and confident. Um, why don't you tell me, you know, how did you become such a master bowler? How did you become? Well, I had a uh, when I was a teenager, I. Uh, I wanted to, to find out all the different things I needed to do to be the best body that I could be in, uh, you know, in the world going forward. Um, I had the, uh, the, the luxury of meeting up with uh, some prominent people very early in my life. Um, as a teenager, I was working with uh, people that was, you know, pretty prominent in the business as a teenager. So I was always working on my clothing. I would come I would drive from Palm Springs to L.A. Uh, to Venice here. Uh, when I was a teenager, just to get posing lessons, and I was I was fine to do that. You know, I was happy to drive two hours, wow. to get, get something that was going to be very valuable to me in my life, and then drive back home with a smile on my face. You know, so then when I met with, with Robbie Robinson as a uh, when I was like 21 years old, uh, we trained with him. We came very close with him over the years. You know, we still train together, uh, often on at this at this age. You know, so it's been uh, uh, from him. Uh, I worked closely with Joe Weider with posing with him one on one. Uh, he actually came yeah. to you to give you private lessons in posing. Well, I would go to him. I'd be in his office. Wow. I'd go up to the to the Weider's office uh, most of my days. I would spend three or four days up at the Weider's office, either going through magazines, archives, or <laughs> learning something from Joe or uh, something like that. We'd go in his bathroom and he'll teach me like the different little components or the different little mind muscle connection things you need. Uh, to be a, a great poser or master of your physique, uh, wow. master of my muscle connection. So I kind of like uh, when I do my business of training, I incorporate all the different things that I learned from these type of people uh, in pose. And I even, I even wanted to, to master a twisted back shot. So I brought in Ali Mala to help me for that. Because they had the masterful poses. Uh, wow. Ali Mala uh, helped me for a year, uh, you know, a year or so, and joined him. And you know, even after I had all the other experience. So different people that I felt that was very good at, at those different things, uh, you know, I just tried to, uh, you know, keep those people and just learn what they know, learn with whatever I can get from them, and take that and, and, uh, and just to uh, put it, you know, incorporate that in my own my own uh, body. Wow, um, you know, I came I came to you kind of at the last minute. I came to you with only two weeks left to the show, yeah. <laughs> and I wish I would have not done that. The reason why I did that is because you know when you when you're fatter or when you're not in shape or conscious ready. And it's kind of like, oh, I don't want to pose and look at all my flaws and everything. But you told me you should have not, you shouldn't think that way because there's a lot of exercises yeah. that you actually show people, that you yeah. showed me on how to actually, you know, make that mind-muscle connection right. and actually how to, you know, so even though you're not in contest shape, you can still work on some things beforehand. So when you do get in contest shape, you actually can make those muscles pop. And so yeah. that was actually really... Yeah, that was, uh, that's another thing, the mind-muscle connection. I wanted you to... That's what I'm saying. Like I'll make you. I can make anyone I think in the world at least 15, 20 percent better than they had before they came to me. And I think that with any pro, any amateur, I feel like I can do that with them. Uh, so I, I feel like if if you're gonna, uh, you know, display your physique, display your body, you have to be so in tune with it to display each and every muscle you have in your body. At any given time, you should be able to control a different part of your body. Some people throw up a, a pose and they're missing different body parts. They might not have it developed because they never thought that far into it. Right. Sometimes people are using the lower part of the leg and they don't care about the upper part. They don't care about all the different muscles that you need to use to uh, display your body, make yourself look even bigger. Right. So I wasn't the bigger, biggest guy on stage, so I wanted to be more complete and I wanted to be more separated than everybody and anybody. Right. And I was even more separated than some of the guys that was a lot lighter than me in body weight, but I could still use my, my wide uh, clavicles and frame to go against the bigger guys like Ronnie, but still go against the guys like Dexter. Right. And still be an X Factor. You were sort of a hybrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 X Factor in both of those guys. That was, that was great. And I'm telling you guys, if you guys uh, feel like 
you don't feel comfortable before a show, which I'm sure is pretty much every amateur, you know, as you, and even some pros, you know, um, come and see Chris, but give yourself enough time. I made the mistake yeah. to wait two weeks out from the show. Come and see him, you know, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks before the show. And if you don't, it's your fault, because this journey is your journey. It's not mine. I did my journey. You see what happened there. So if you want to learn the most out of anybody, it's like you have to go through it. If you don't, then... Okay, keep, keep, keep placing the way you're placing, keep looking the way you're looking, keep doing what you're doing. It's a missing link, you know, you can't look great on stage and not how to display that physique, it's, it's so silly. But we, I don't want to talk to Chris uh, today, but we're going to uh, shoot a little bit more in the posing room to show you a bit what he was talking about, yeah. without giving you all the tricks. But if you guys not need all to, of them. Not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys need to, you know, hook up with Chris for, you know, of course, training, and, you know, you see Robbie over there and some of the guys, but also... Yeah, this is our leg day on Saturdays. This is not for this. This is not for, uh, the faith for anyone. Part. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta be ready for this. This ain't for everybody. Everybody don't want to go through it. That's why they're not here. Yeah, that's yeah, why, yeah. That's why it's only us. That's right. So anyway, thanks for talking to us. Chris. thanks for all your help with the show. Thanks, and, uh, man. But we're gonna keep catching, We're gonna catch up with you some more. Thank you guys. And, uh, hi. I see. Thanks, I hope man. to have you in here sometime, man. <laughs>